Welcome into the recap of the Cubs blowout loss to the Pittsburgh Pirates on a beautiful Friday afternoon at the friendly confines of Wrigley Field. I'm David Kaplan. It's brought to you by our great partners at Wintrust, the exclusive home of Cubs checking. I've got one of those super cool Cubs checking accounts with the super cool Cubs debit card. Click on the QR code on the screen or go to Wintrust.com slash Cubs for all the details. Folks, let me just tell you something right now. In a 162-game season, you're going to have ups, you're going to have downs. And right now, the Cubs are going through a serious period of the downs. They've now had 15 players go on the injured list. 15. Most in baseball, you've got to find a way to keep your head above water. Dansby Swanson's not back, so Master Boney's playing short because Nico Horner's got a tweaked hamstring. He's not on the injured list yet. They're hoping he can play on Saturday. You got Nick Madrigal at second. So let's just talk about this for a second. You look at the Cubs lineup today. Mike Talkman's having a nice year, but Mike Talkman is a fourth outfielder. He's not a starter on a team trying to contend for a division championship. So you have Talkman in there. Ian Happ has been awful offensively. Uh, again, an 0 for today, 0 for 3. You had uh, in your lineup Master Boney, Madrigal, Crow Armstrong, Miguel Amaya. So of those guys in there, you're getting nothing out of half. You're getting nice performance for a fourth outfielder from Talkman. Suzuki was out of the lineup today as he's working his way back from injury. And then you've got Master Boney, Madrigal, Crow Armstrong, Amaya. You're not going to beat many teams with that type of lineup. And then when you run Kyle Hendricks out there, and I love Kyle. He's a wonderful person. He gave us some of the greatest memories I'm ever going to have or you're ever going to have as a Cubs fan. Winning the pennant, first time in 71 years, beating Clayton Kershaw in 16 to go to the World Series. Starting Game 7 and pitching his tail off. But guess what, folks? He can't be a regular part of your rotation. He went today, four and two-thirds, 11 hits, eight runs, seven earned, struck out four, did not walk a man, allowed a home run. Folks, you cannot run him out there every fifth day. They're going to give him another chance. He was fine last Sunday, but if this is what we're going to get, you've got to pitch young kids that throw hard and have a chance to miss bats because right now, Kyle would tell you, I'm not doing my team any favor, that they have no chance of winning. Uh, Paul Skeens, he is the Chicagoland Chevy Dealers player of the game. The hot shot number one pick from last June, already in the big leagues with the Pirates. Through six innings, 11 punch outs, and no hits allowed. No hits! If that dude didn't have a pitch count on him, he probably would have no hit the Cubs the way he was throwing. Cubs get pounded 9-3. They scored late, broke up the no hitter against the Pirate bullpen. But today, it was an ass kicking. Cubs get crushed. Have a great rest of your night. Take that.